Hello Key Stage 1. Today you're going to be writing up your instructions that you planned yesterday. So in your instructions you should be using a time conjunction. So for example, first, secondly, then, after. You should be using an imperative verb, so a bossy word that's telling you to do something. And then your instructions, so what they need to do. Now. This video should be quite straightforward because all you've got to do is use your plan from yesterday and use all those words and instructions to put them into one big sentence. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you mine and then you can go off and write your set of instructions on how to be a super duper animal keeper. Right, so I'm look, going to look at my first line and I chose first. And after a time conjunction, you always need a comma. Okay, so first, check, and then I'm going to do, carry on, the animals are safe in their enclosures. There's my first one. Right, what was my next one? Secondly, comma, inspect, and then it was the animals for any injuries. Okay, my next one, Ooh, next comma, clean and refill their water, full stop. After, oh, don't forget your capital letters, really important, and it was after chop their food up. So chop their food up. What's that up one next? Next, wash their sleeping and toilet areas. Nearly done. After that, play and train your animal. Full stop. Okay, what's the other one? Later, write notes about what your animal, animal did in the day. And then the last one, finally, comma, double check all the enclosures and gates are locked and safe, full stop. So there we go, I have written some instructions on how to be an animal keeper using my plan from yesterday. That's why it's important to make sure it's really nice and clear with your time conjunction, then your imperative verb, your bossy word, and then the instruction, because then it was really easy to put them into a clear sentence. So let's go through and, and read them. So first, check that animals are safe in their enclosures. Closures. Secondly, inspect the animals for any injuries. Next, clean and refill their water. After, chop their food up. Next, wash their sleeping and toilet areas. After that, play and train your animal. Later, write notes about what your animal did in the day. And finally, double check all the enclosures and gates are locked and safe. So there we go, some instructions on how to be an animal keeper. Now look forward to reading all your excellent instructions. Make sure you take a photo and send it to your teacher so we can see your work. Well done.